the Slam Dance Film Festival will return for its 29th year in 2023 with in person programming that you can check out both in Park City and Salt Lake City. We are getting an inside look at what you can expect this year. Joining me now is Michael Morin, festival producer, and Lily Yasuda, a festival manager. Welcome, you two. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you for having us. All things Slam Dance. I'm already excited just talking to you both in the break, and I can't wait for our viewers to learn all about it. Michael, let's start with you. What is Slam Dance? Slam Dance is an independent film festival that takes place in Park City, uh, down the street from Sundance. We've been around for 29 years. Uh, we're by filmmakers for filmmakers, it's kind of our mantra. Um, we uh, have over 100 films, right, this year, and normally that many uh, across 30 countries yeah. wide. Yeah. yeah. I like so. to think of us as kind of the scrappy little cousin of Sundance. Um, definitely more of a focus on DIY filmmaking, yeah. first time directors from all over the world. Um, and we're really excited to finally be back in person after a little bit of a, a, a hiatus. Yes. Correct. Well, you said over 30 countries yeah. Correct. and an opportunity to see these films right here in yeah. our home state. Let's talk about what happens on opening night. What's that d debut film? Yeah, you want to fill us in? Sure, yeah. So the opening night film is uh, called Punk Rock Vegan Movie, and it's a director, directorial debut by the musician Moby. Uh, he uh, made a documentary about uh, punk rock and its origins in animal rights activism, and so it'll be opening night in Park City. Um, and then, yeah. So we, that's our big Friday night yeah. film, um, but we're getting ready for filmmakers' arrival in town tomorrow, and then Friday will be our first real uh, day of the festival. What yeah. an exciting thing. Yeah. Lily, I know that you are a new part of the team yeah. this year, but a lot of work goes into. I can't even imagine planning for <laughs> all of these films and everybody associated with each individual film. What has planning been like? Uh, it, comprehensive, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, it's really exciting. Um, you know, we're a, a relatively small team, um, yeah. but we really pride ourselves in, you know, trying to go above and beyond in supporting each of our individual filmmakers. You know, we have folks coming in from all over the world, um, and every film is a little different, every team is a little different, so we want to do everything we can to get them the resources they need for their project to really shine. And right. you are doing a wonderful job out of both of you of bringing this to us. Michael, tell us about the Unstoppable program. So the uh, Unstoppable, I'm really excited about. It's a, our showcase for filmmakers with visible and non-visible disabilities. Um, we've done it online for the last two years, um, and it's been successful. So this is the first year we'll be able to do it in person here in Utah. And we've partnered with the wonderful University of Utah, who will be hosting the event. So that takes place on the 23rd to the 25th, and you can go to any of the screenings of these films over that three-day period uh, for free. All screenings are free. Accessibility is a big, important aspect of our festival. Uh, we want to make it accessible to everyone, and you know, that way, if it's free or affordable online, you can also go to slamdance.com, you can buy passes, but all the program and all the films will be on our channel as well, slamdancechannel.com. So. Plenty of ways to yeah. come and experience. If you do want to purchase those tickets, what's the website? Uh, slamdance.com. You guys, this sounds like the most fun, so artistic. Do you have something you're most looking forward to? I know you can't pick a favorite. No, of course. <laughs> um, you know, I always try to give a little extra TLC to our shorts filmmakers. Um, we have animated shorts, experimental shorts, narrative shorts, documentary shorts. Oh, we also have our episodes program. Um, you know, and I think a lot of love goes to those feature films. Um, but uh, our shorts filmmakers are putting in just as much work. Those films are screened in blocks, so you could catch four or five or six films all at once in one neat little package. Um, so I think if folks are maybe new to slam dance or not sure what to see, you should go and check out one of those shorts. Fabulous. Blocks. This is the year to check yeah. it out. Thank you both so much <laughs> for being so here. Much. Best of luck. We can't wait to come and see what you've got going on.